Now, an important deadline in campaign 2010. Anyone wishing to run for political office in this year's election had to file the paperwork this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is here now to run down the list of political hopefuls vying for some of the state's top spots. Well, Karen, that deadline, 4 o'clock, and while there were no last-minute surprise candidates, the real surprise is the amount of people running for local, state, and federal office. It's up 20% from two years ago. One of the more closely followed races is the campaign for governor. There are 10 people running for the Ocean State's top job. Two Democrats, Frank Caprio and Patrick Lynch. Two Republicans, Victor Moffat and John Robitaille. One moderate, Kenneth Block, and five independents, of which Lincoln Chafee is probably the most well-known. Thirteen people have tossed their hat into the ring for Patrick Kennedy's seat in Congress. Four Democrats are running for the District 1 seat, including Providence Mayor David Cicilline. Also running, seven independents and two Republicans, including John Laughlin. Secretary of State Ralph Mollis, who runs the election, says by today's deadline, more than 3,300 people have filed for local, state, and federal office. Well, without question, I think more people are getting interested in when these difficult times, people are deciding that they want to get involved and do something about the challenges they face. We've also posted a link to the Secretary of State's page on our website. It's WPRI.com. It lists all the candidates. It's under the No More section, and we'll have a complete list of everyone running after 7 o'clock tonight. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.